So we've left uh, Bina Zvenit, Bina Ziwa. We've left uh, Sigishwara, and we're about 40 kilometers away in the town of Medyash, just over the border in Sibiu County. Medyash is the uh, second biggest city in uh, Sibiu, uh, 45,000 inhabitants. It's the site of the most natural methane and natural gas deposits. So unsurprisingly, Transgaz and the Romgaz have their headquarters here. And it's another Saxon town, so a town where the Hungarian kings invited the Saxons to come and set up a citadel, which they did. So here we've got the citadel, the wall, which has been restored. With a tower on top. And we'll go and have a look at that. And opposite, there's a rather beautiful and large Orthodox church. Again, we're in the same river valley as uh, Sigishwara, so the river, the Tinava Mare, uh, runs through this town. Now, when I came back from um, Sigishwara, uh, my train cost for, for 39 kilometers. It cost uh, 14 lei 50, which is about three pounds. No, it's not, it's about two pounds 80 or three dollars. When I went to um, Sigishwara from Mediash, it cost four lei 30. Same distance, why the difference? Well, because the train I came back on was a fast train, an interregional train, which was making the route from um, Bucharest to uh, Cluj Napoca. So it didn't stop at every station. On the way out, it stopped at every station. But very good value, very uh, superb trains, which were, were on time. I'll just say one more thing about Medjash. The, uh, the name derives from uh, the Hungarian for sour cherry, which is Medi. And that was transposed into German as Medjash and then the uh, Romanians just took on that uh, Mediash, S-C-H in German, S uh, in, in, uh, in uh, Romanian. Uh, okay, so that's all I'll say. We'll go and have a look at the towers and we'll go and have a look at the fortress. Let's go and have a look now. <clears throat> I'm with uh, Duanna Magda again today. <laughs> no. Dai mare, no? Very beautiful church to our left. Stunning. And very big. And it's a uh, rush hour at the moment. We're in the afternoon in Medjash. And I think that's a cemetery on the hill, is that? A huge cemetery on the hill just in front of us. Huge. But you can see how imposing this place would have been in medieval times, which is when the uh, Germans, the Saxons, were invited in. So here's the gate. Uh, should we risk it? It's not going to fall on us, hopefully. Right, okay. <laughs> and here we are again into provincial German town. Of course, it's not German, it's Romanian. Oh, look, what nice library! Order. Lots of books for sale and a wonderful balustrade leading you up to the tower. You can take a book, enjoy it, and do take. A it's a free library. It it's a free library. You just borrow a book and return it or put another book there which is fantastic and a very nice uh, cafe but we're going to go down the Strada Nikola Yorga we have one of those in uh, Kriva as well Cina Fost Nikola Yorga scientist, author, a philosoph so he was a Romanian philosopher okay and we're heading down to the 
Uh, I think it's called the clock tower, but I'll just check that. And again, you can see the colors of the buildings, which are fantastic, different colors. And the style, the German style, so that you can't see into the yard. You don't see the kurte, you don't see anything. And that's uh, typical of this, this style of design. But the Mediash is, is absolutely stunning. I had a walk through earlier today on my way back and uh, it really is very pretty indeed. But I don't think many people come here on holiday. They tend to go to Sigishwara or Sibiu instead, which is a bit of a shame. Um, okay, so we're going to see the church, the main church in the centre, St. Margaret's Church, built in 1488. And we're going to see the tower, what's called the Tower of the Buglers, uh, or the Tower of the Trumpeters, and I'll tell you about that when we get there. Um, there's a the sign of Mediash used to be, or the the shield of Mediash used to have grapes on it because there's a famous wine called Mediash and it's mentioned in Bram Stoker's Dracula where Dr. Jonathan Harker is traveling to Dracula's castle and refers to a glass of Mediash that he's enjoyed drinking. I haven't had any wine here yet, not from uh, Mediash. Yeah, so one lay an hour to park here. Is that expensive? No. No. 20p. 20p an hour. That's very good. It was cheaper. I saw cheaper parking in Sigishwara. It was 50, 50 cents. 50 bun. It's a half a lay. Atenci. Taxi. And I think ahead of us, ah yes, we've got the church of St. Margaret and we've also got the, uh, the Trumpeter's Tower. Now originally the Trumpeter's Tower was the highest tower in the town and they used to send a bugler up there to um, warn if the enemy was approaching and then he would sound out his bugle or his trumpet to warn people and if he didn't if he fell asleep or didn't warn them uh, the legend has it that he would be thrown off the tower so an unfortunate end so or an incentive to stay awake cafe life alive and well in mid-april in uh, Transylvania and you could be in Germany or Austria it's just the same people enjoying the weather having a beer and a pizza or a glass of wine very nice. Trattoria Roma in the central square. And we're coming towards the town hall. I think. Is this the primaria? No? lovely little park in the center full because it's a lovely day all the blossoms out flowers are starting to come into bloom we saw some tulips out on the way here ah Penele party headquarters because the mayor of this particular town is Penele Cine Penecesede Partidul Național Țărănist Left or right? 
Nationalist. Left. left. Ah, da? Uh, no, 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 no. Right. Uh, right. <laughs> Nationalist, da? Da. Okay, so we've got another party there. Like when you live on the same side. Ah, yeah. We're just coming around the corner here. Lots of cafes. I really recommend you visit this town if you have a chance. There's a lot to see. But I'm looking for this church and this tower. Banks I've never heard of. MKB Rom Extera. Hey, now it's Patria Bank. Ah, da? Da. Mm -hmm. Hey, my love. Che. I want to show you where I work. Dine, okay. <laughs> It's, uh, I've, lo I've lost the uh, I've lost the uh, church, so I'll start filming again when I find it. Look, I work here. <laughs> I don't just film that. No. We go. Who? Sure. Cool. You are sure to go? No, no, no. I'm first stage. And just round the corner, what an extraordinary, beautiful building. The Liceo Theoretique Stefan Ludwig Roth. So you can see the, uh, the German influence, the German names. And we're going to try and get through here to the castle and the church. Looks like there. there's and a way through. And this is a car from Ceausescu time. <laughs> da. That, yeah, 1,310. One Petrol at the back. Unusual now. Yes, unusual. It's very old. No. Piece of history though. Piece of communist history. <laughs> okay, we're going through. No. You see this is in German. That's very interesting. Uh, Beerdigung, burial, Dienstag was on uh, Marz, 58 years old, maths teacher, married. Ah, oh, she used to live in Schwanstetten, Deutschland, and died in Hermannstadt, which is, as I was saying earlier, Sibiu. So you, you can be bilingual here in German and people will understand you. If you order stuff in German, they'll understand what you're saying because a lot of people speak German here. Oh, beautiful church. We can go around. Yeah, Chacolo. Mm. Wow, you see, German school. The sign up there says Deutsche Schule, German school. Schola Nemst. You can visit the church if you want. No. Nazira. Chef Ramos. Here's the tower where I think I think this was the watchtower or the yeah that's the bell tower and this is the watchtower. Um so the founder of the Lycée we just saw the große Freund des Arbeitenden Volkes und Kämpfer für die gleiche Rechtigung der Sieben Burgischen Nationalitaten im Revolutionsjahr. So the seven year, uh, no, um, a, a, a fighter for freedom and equality. Stefan Ludwig Roth. Interesting. Okay, and this was his birth house, which is a national monument now. And the 
little garden. Very historical. And an absolutely enormous church of St. Margaret's, dating back to the 15th century. Okay, we're going around the corner. Could do with a new paint job, but I suppose it adds to the uh, atmosphere. And round we go. And we're like in a mini citadel within the citadel because we're inside the citadel. As you can see. You see here? Yeah. Uh, the eye. Mm -hmm. I think it's a uh, Loja Masonica here. Ah. Maybe, I don't know, but I think. It might be a Masonic Lodge in there. Who knows? It's the eye, up. the sign, the mm -hmm. And then we can go here. Maybe. Click so on. We can maybe get out this way. Who knows? <laughs> no, no cred. Enkis. Enkis. Ah, da, Enkis. It's closed, so we can't go out that way. We go back the way we came in. But very atmospheric. Very cool as well. Irichi. Ah, the other interesting. Media, she is a cetate locuita. But, uh, dar nu la fel de. Lived in. People live here. People live in cetate. Yeah, so people live in the citadel. The other interesting thing about <coughs> Romania, which I haven't mentioned, are the way they paint trees. You know that summer is on the way because the town council send out their cleaners to paint whitewash on the trees to stop insects, mm, caterpillars, mm, rabbit. rab rabbits. Mm, oh, I don't think a rabbit is going to eat this tree. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be some rabbit. You yeah. This old yeah. mm. Citadel, Citadel, yeah. So people do actually live around here and live in the Citadel. Yeah. Um, so Mediash doesn't have the tourist backing like uh, Sigishwara, which became a UNESCO heritage site. Here's a rather lovely staircase, wooden staircase, like the earlier one we saw going up to the tower. Okay, we'll go on and find something else. Like we saw in Sigishwara, Mediash has houses of many colors. It's like a rainbow city. And not just one colour, although most of them are just one colour. But this one is a rule unto itself. And you can see the way the gates work. You can't you can't get in. That's where the horse and carriage would have gone in originally. And you can't see, so it's very private. Always a rather wonderful gateway and balcony up here. Very old. And I was talking about the the grapes, the sign of um, Mediash. And you can see them on the mouldings up above and here. A wine producing area. If I can just nip through here rather cheekily, have a little look because the door's been left open. They go back a long way. They go back a very long way. Rather 
rather garish blue colour over the road. where the gentleman who uh, founded the Lycée lived. He lived here. Hier wohnte Stefan Roth as Lehrer. So this was his house. Very nice. Continuing down this path of many colours. Most of the houses are in a good state of repair. Some of them obviously need a bit of uh, decoration. But the colours, wow. Something to behold. I initially thought that uh, the different coloured houses indicated a different profession or guild that I've been disabused of that um, notion. Apparently that's not the case at all. So uh, I take that back. That's not, uh, not true. This is just an ordinary street in a, an ordinary little town with some absolutely amazing buildings. I think there's another church at the end here. Souvenir shop. And another bar. Here's the uh, one of the gates to the city, the citadel. Uh, this is the Steingasse gate. Okay, that, well that's appropriate. Steingasse means um, stone street, and this street is cobbled. So we've uh, come through here. And then there's a sign outside. So we're outside the citadel now. Not quite sure where we're going, but we're not, not gonna get lost. It's not a very big town. And a sign here to the Stadion, to the stadium. And the stadium is where Gaz Metan Mediash play. Gaz, obviously gas. Metan, methane. Mediash, the name of the town. And it's sponsored by the gas companies who, um, who uh, have their bases here. So they get money to play. And they're currently in the first division, League One. Uh, but I think they're uh, fighting relegation this year. Okay, so we'll uh, continue on. And the medieval wall, the medieval fortifications continue all the way around this, the town. making a fairly impregnable uh, citadel. I don't know if it was, uh, it was ever conquered, but it uh, would be a pretty hard job. So most of the houses here are classed as historic buildings, so you've got to be very careful how you uh, deal with them. And you can see it from the sign on the outside, even for this building, which is closed, happy tour. Casa Rosenau, Rosenau House, historical monument. So there are limits, like a grade listing on what you can actually do to a house. Uh, selling platite and platinte. Serbest. Da. Serbian. Da. Five. Mm. With pumpkins. So a Serbian speciality with pumpkins. And uh, this shows you the uh, 
political makeup. All the parties are represented here. Uz Ushire, Medyash, little building. Pinele, the biggest building. Uh, what was the other one? There was another one, wasn't there? Pene Cesede. Partidul Național Țărănesc. Two doors. Pinele, three doors, maybe four. And PCD, as I did say, not really very well represented in this area in Transylvania. They're not. Uh... Follow this way. No, no, it's possible. No, așa e rut. E drum. Dacă vrei. Sigur? Da. Da? Da, fost? No, it's possible. No, it's bine, but it's possible. <laughs> da? Here is a nice shoes shop. Da, da. Here. Oh, da. Da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, and, uh, and another political party, so they're all represented here. Bazescu's party, PMP. Quite a lot of houses being renovated or uh, repa repainted. Rather ugly place, probably a cinema. But that was the cinema. And those lovely windows at the top. Poking out from the uh, attic floor. Very good. Guys, for the age. Da? Bit of a racist sign here. <laughs> Dorin B. Calitate Germana la Pret Romanesc. <laughs> German quality at a Romanian price. Right, I'm a bit lost again now, so I'm going to uh, stop filming and uh, try and uh, guide my wife back to the hotel. So we found our way back to the hotel, and the hotel is called Hotel Edelweiss. And uh, its uh, cost is, for two nights we paid 310 lei, which is about £26 a night, which is pretty good value, $30. Well, I hope you enjoyed our visit to Medyash and I'd recommend you come. 
Uh, the the walled uh, fortress is extraordinary with uh, slits in the wall and the houses for arrow uh, archers to defend the citadel and uh, it really is a superb uh, undiscovered gem of Transylvania. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.